My name is Master Andrew. Welcome to my dojo. Today we received some gifts. I'm pretty sure, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong here, that this lettuce looking like vegetable is called bok choy. Now, I may be wrong, it may be a leek, but I'm pretty sure a leek looks more like an onion and bok choy. It could be Chinese, it, it could be, it could be something else though, it could be cabbage. We used to cook with this stuff, I believe, at High Express when I worked there. This stuff here is Chinese broccoli. And I'll know it just by tasting it. That's motherfucking Chinese broccoli. And it's good. So I'll be using that in my fried rices over the next few days. Thank you to whoever brought that in. I really appreciate that. And I've been on this tomato tear lately with the bologna and lettuce sandwiches and somebody brought in some goddamn tomatoes today. Unreal. How life just kind of unfolds. Now, they're not bad. They're definitely organically grown. I've done the hothouse tomatoes. I'm not a fan, personally. But these soil grown bad boys are literally, I almost took a bite of one there. So good. They are so delicious. They work well in, I'm going to eat this one right now. No, this one. It's getting soft. Tomato and cucumber salads. I'll be right back. I just gotta wash this bad boy. Now, no, I did not wash my hands properly, and I did not wash the tomato properly when I got it. But I really don't care. I'm eating it anyways. So, here goes nothing. Now, I don't even know if I stated where these popped up. I was over at the soup kitchen today. And they were sitting in a big cardboard box. On my way out, I saw them. On my way in, I saw them. On my way out, I got them. But not before asking the staff there for a plastic bag. And they were so gracious to provide that for me. And this tomato is actually not half bad. I remember being a kid and eating these things just like I am now, only I had a little less manners. Yeah, I know eating on camera is not polite, but I had even worse manners at the time. I would just take it and shove the whole thing in my mouth. Today at least I have the couth to cut it with a knife.
and have a surface area. This is so good. To eat and make a mess. Now, that's what you call a tomato. And my mind, my curiosity will say, I wonder where these come from. Pretty sure they came from the community garden. My intuition just tells me that that's where they came from. But I can't be 100% sure of that. Now, we suffered a great loss today. Our team suffered a loss. Which I'll share on the channel. Maybe somebody can help. I'm working on it as well. Today, the Xbox controller finally lost its life. After three years, or two years, and a little bit more than that, of active operation, losing access to its left thumbstick due to cancer about a year ago. And it spread to the nubby where you put in the micro USB to USB cord. All the teeth in there today were just absolutely mangled by the knife that I inserted into it while I was trying to do an operation on it. I was trying to fix it, but it only ended up making it worse. So, as a result of that, and not, not realizing, not realizing that I could, not realizing that I could put a battery in the back of it, I threw it in the garbage. Damn, damn, damn. And I'm not going to go reach in the garbage for it. No, I'm not doing that. So if there's anybody out there that can help me, if there's anybody out there that can send me an Xbox One controller, at least something to operate YouTube and all the computer stuff, that all the technical stuff like a controller or a remote or something that I can use with my Xbox One. <laughs> However, the good news is that I think we have a solution already without having to spend any money or dip into anybody else's resources. There is an app that I remember from way back in the day. I won't say it on this platform. Well, you know what, I will. Because if someone's going to hack me, they're going to do it, whether I try to hide my personal life or not. It's called Microsoft Smart Glass. So, But that app, I had it before, and I believe it's the same thing as an Xbox controller. The only problem is with that, you need a Wi-Fi connection, which is very important because... If you have a Wi-Fi connection, it will actually work. If you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, it's as good as having a broken controller. So, with that being said, I'm working on it myself. I'll either have the controller signed, sealed, and delivered by tomorrow. If not by tomorrow, next week. If not by next week, next month. We're going to get something going for this Xbox here. Whether I have to, because I don't play video games anymore. Whether I have to pawn off all my video games, because none of them are historic. They're not sentimental to me. I don't care to have them. I don't like them. I don't enjoy them. I don't need them, so I'm going to sell them. They're not worth very much. I just had The Division and Call of Duty and Black Ops 3 and I believe a few other crappy games as well. I could probably get like 10 bucks for them. But anyways, that's where I'm at with my Xbox controller situation today. It all started with the USB to micro USB cord getting partly destroyed. You know how those things go. They're very flimsy. They're very... That's why I like this phone charging cord. With the new 
charging cords, they're not the same as USB to micro USB. They're sort of more oval shaped and they don't have teeth. They have more of a magnetic insert and when you insert them, they stay. Like they don't pop out on their own. They don't bend, they don't break. So I absolutely love these and I recommend them putting those on every single device from now on. When I got this new phone here, when I got this ASUS N phone, probably, I don't even know, freaking four or five months ago, maybe even six months ago, it came with one cord. And I said to myself, well, I'm going to go online, I'm going to buy some more cords because I know how the last cords worked and these cords are probably likely to be the same thing. Well, I was wrong. I bought five cords for 10 bucks off of wish.com and lo and behold, I still have all six cords and they're all fully operational today. So those micro USB to USB cords are absolute garbage and I don't recommend them under any circumstance whatsoever. I bought the expensive ones. I bought, well, I shouldn't say I bought the expensive ones. I bought the ones that were up to $30. And that one did last a bit longer than the other ones that are usually eight to $10 or in and around that area. But honestly, like, there's ones that are $100 out there. They're probably made with brass and diamond-plated coatings, and, like, they probably do actually work. But I'll tell you, these things cost $2 each, and they work. They don't break. They just don't break. So I highly recommend those because they're inexpensive, they're effective, and they're durable. And with that, i got to get out of here for now. I have a lot of stuff to do today. I'm very busy. I'm tired. I need to get off the mic. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button now, leave a like or a dislike, and a comment in the comment section. And if you have some funding to donate, we're always accepting. The PayPal link's in the description, y'all. I gotta get out of here for now. Peace.